And keep it going for my friends, three-time Grammy Award winners, Ozo Male. And of course, you cannot forget the porn star of comedy. Let him hear it, Mr. Martin Moreno. Nice. Martin's no joke. I said the porn star. Martin, is, uh, what is this, like week five now that we've been here? Week five for sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. A month. About a, yeah, over a month, you guys hanging out here in Florida. And uh, Martin got crazy the other night. I don't know, he texted me, and he mentioned it earlier, but he, uh, he got a little crazy and wound up in Hialeah somewhere at someone's house. <laughs> And for everybody watching at home, Hialeah is no joke. It's, it gets crazy over there, all right? If you're white and you're driving through Hialeah after one in the morning, even the GPS is like, ding, good luck. <laughs> Careful. Oh, yeah. It is the East Coast version of East Los Angeles. Yes, that's... <laughs> And of course, it was up people asking, you know, when are you going to shoot the next one? And I've been talking about doing stuff here in Florida for quite some time, and so I'm really excited. And I actually thought, I used to think that uh, the Cubans were the number one Latinos here in town, and I come to find out that Puerto Ricans are creeping up. Yeah. <laughs> Puerto Ricans, you guys are very easy to identify. Most Latinos, you got to listen to the Spanish. Puerto Ricans, I give it up. You're easy to identify because there's always a flag nearby. <laughs> Puerto Ricans love the Puerto Rican flag, and I know why. I know why, because no one's looking for you. <laughs> you can be as proud as you want, you know, Wepa! all day long. If you don't know the Puerto Rican flag, it's very easy to identify. It's red, white, and blue. It has one big star on it, a triangle, and uh, it's, it's like the American flag, but tweaked. <laughs> it's like the Cuban flag, but backwards in the colors. <laughs> yeah, you guys love that flag. You will put that flag on anything. Freaking bumper sticker, hat, t-shirts, wallets, a baby's born. <laughs> Hell yeah, you're definitely the most advantaged of all the Latinos. You know, because Mexicans, we're, we're, you know, we're loud to an extent. But when we realize that there could be potential drama, they say, bájale, 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 bájale. Bájale. But we work hard. And I noticed too, like, uh, there's actually a Mexican community here in town I didn't know about. And uh, I saw some guys doing construction, and that's when I found out because I heard the music playing, and it wasn't like Celia Cruz or nothing. It was actually freaking, you know, regular, you know, we you know, you know, straight up. I was like, that's Mexican music. And I saw a guy on one of the scaffoldings, and I go, you guys are working over here? Oh, si, senor, si, senor. I go, in this economy, you guys are building another house? Oh, senor, these people have a lot of money. Mucho dinero, mucho dinero. Are they rich? Very rich. How rich? Senor, I'm not even Mexican. He pays me to talk like this. No. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back with more Stand Up Revolution. all the way from East Los Angeles, California. One of my best friends in the whole wide world. You saw him on season one. He's back to tear it up again. Give it up and make some noise for Alfred Robles. What's up, Hollywood, Florida? How you guys doing? Everybody has a crazy friend, man. My friend's crazy. He, came, he comes up to me and he asks me, yo, Alfred, you like sleeping? Yeah. Sometimes you wish you could sleep for a long time? Yeah. Then he goes, you know what that means? That means you want to die. <laughs> Think about it, and he walks away. I was thinking about it. Man, that doesn't mean that. So I seen him the next day, and I asked him, hey, bro, do you like basketball? Yeah. Do you like football? Yeah, you know what that means? That means you like black guys. <laughs> Think about it, bro. And I walked away. 
Hey guys, don't you hate when you lie to your girlfriend to get her back and that lie works? <laughs> and now you gotta live the lie? I told my girlfriend I started going to church to get her back and now I gotta go to church. <laughs> and I went to church last week and it was empty. And I started talking to the father, and the father asked me, hey, how can we get more people here at church? And I told him, you know what we got to have, father? We got to have Wi-Fi. <laughs> I want to be able to check in. <laughs> I've never been molested. Thank you. <laughs> they say one person out of every family has been molested. The hard part is finding out who it is. I called all my cousins. <laughs> hey, bro, have you ever been molested before? Don't lie, you're the last one. Because <laughs> when you get molested, you could get away with doing anything because people feel sorry for you, right? You could cheat on your girlfriend all you want. She can't get mad because you could always tell her, hey, you know what, babe? I was molested. <laughs> it always works. I did that joke last night, and this lady got mad. She comes up to me. She tells me, hey, molestation ain't funny. I was molested. So I told her, I'm sorry, it's a touchy subject. <laughs> Did I rub you the wrong way? <laughs> and I walked away. <laughs> Ladies, you guys got to stop believing us guys, we're liars. Right? Believe half of the story. If you meet a guy today and he tells you he's a cop, he's lying. Believe half. He's a security guard. I know. I tell girls I was in the Navy. Believe half. I used to work at Old Navy. And my brother... My brother got a tattoo. He got his picture of his kids on his back. I asked him, why'd you get that for? And he goes, because I could take the pictures everywhere I go now. I told him, you should have bought a wallet. <laughs> it's cheaper. <laughs> That's all we are. Mexicans are proud people. You ever see a Mexican with a tattoo of an Indian? You ask him, what tribe is he from? I don't know, bro. I seen that movie, Apocalypto. <laughs> We're the only people like that. All right? You never see a white guy with a pilgrim. All right? You never see an Italian girl with Snooky. Never happened. All right? You never see a Cuban with a life raft. And I voted for Obama. Clap if you voted for Obama. Yeah. I know Obama's not doing so good right now. I think Obama should just have a big-ass press conference and say, you know what, America, I'm sorry I've been messing up, but I was molested. <laughs>
All right, guys, give it up for the band, huh, guys? Yeah, all right. My name's Tony Baker, guys, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I'm 25% white. And occasionally that 25 stands out in the stuff I'm into. You know what I'm saying? I just got to blame it on that 25. It don't, it don't really match up with a black guy. Like, I want to bungee jump and skydive, but I want to take it to the next level, guys. Like, I want the pilot of the plane to jump out first. <laughs> Then I want the instructor to jump out. I want to jump out last with no parachute as the plane explodes for no reason. Catch the instructor mid free fall, pull his cord, then when we land together, I want to tackle the cheetah. That's that 25 right there, guys. That's that 25 right there, you know what I'm saying? I like to go on nature walks and hikes, and instead of running from the grizzly bear or puma, I like to stand there and marvel at it, maybe even bring the kids in closer so they can feel the fur of a real wild animal so we can get mauled as a family, as a unit. That's that 25 right there, guys. You ever notice minorities never get mauled? It's because we get the hell out of Dodge once we find out there's bears walking around there. They be like, if you look, this is a real grizzly track. There's bears out here? Man, give me my car keys. I ain't signed up for this. It's that 25, guys. It's that 25. If I hear a strange noise out back in the basement, I'll go check it out by myself. That's that 25 right there, guys. That's, that's that white guy heroics, you know what I'm saying? He'll wake his wife up, honey, 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 honey. I heard a noise out back. I'm gonna go check it out. If I'm not back in 15 minutes, call the cops. <laughs> Minorities, we like for people to have our back, you know what I'm saying? If that means it's gonna be our wife, so be it. Honey, 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 wake up, wake up. Get your house shoes on. I heard something out back. <laughs> Get the kids up just in case we need some innocent eyes on it. I don't want to be the only one dead at church on Sunday. Let's... Let's do this, guys. I like to go to the movie theater and shut the hell up. That's that 25 right there, guys. That's that 25 right there. I didn't sign up to hear Jamal and them in the back with the comments. Shut up, Jamal and them. Y'all see me watching Twilight Breaking Dawn, part one, as a man. Me watching Twilight. That's that 25 right there, guys. That's that 25 right there. I like to talk it out with my kids instead of giving them whoopings, you know what I'm saying? And therefore, in essence, raising the smart mouth kids with no, no respect for adults. That's that 25 right there. But then I get mad at the disrespect and I beat their asses. That's that 75 right there, guys. That's that 75 right there. And I got two kids, I got two sons, a 12 and a 10 year old. Kids will ruin your self esteem. I don't know if you got them. They will ruin it. Like my youngest son, he always got some commentary on my body when I get out the shower. And he's like eye level with my gut region. So he's like, yeah, he's always touching and poking and kind of flapping it up. And I'm like, get your hands off me, man. Like, he's like, hey dad, how come when you stop walking, your stomach is still moving, dad? I'm like, why don't you go to school, man? He's like, it's Saturday, Dad. Try again. I'm like, okay, okay. That's why you ain't mine. How you love that? <laughs> yeah, he'd be like, well, actually, that makes you look dumb, Dad, because you're raising somebody else's kid. I'm like, damn, I got nothing for this guy. Well, let's get the comebacks. You're killing me, man. It's funny, being the father of boys, you know, I got to be fearless as a dad. You know, I can't be scared of nothing. I'm scared of the weirdest stuff, guys. Like, I, I'm scared to pee in the bathroom if it's a fly in there. <laughs> if it's a fly in the bathroom, if it's active, I will abort mission every time. Because I don't want it landing on my penis, guys. Because have you ever just watched a fly when it lands on something? You ever just looked at it? It's always doing stuff with its hands. As soon as it lands, like... What is that? Whatever that is, I don't want it happening on my penis, guys. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, guys. I'm also scared of people facing the wall. That's creepy to me. Like, somebody just facing the wall. This is, this is creepy right here. You know? But some of y'all are thinking, like, that's not so creepy, Tony. Think about this. If you're getting on the elevator, the elevator door opens. You see somebody standing in the elevator. Are you going to get on that elevator? Hell no. You, you know what? I'm going to walk to the 66th floor. I'm, let's get my cardio in. No, no. Come on in here. Come on in here. Yeah. Let's get that dope. This is weird. I'm scared of clowns, too. Clowns scare the crap out of me, guys. Clowns? Oh, I can't do it. I can't do it, man. Who's not scared of clowns by round of applause? Oh. Let me ask you this. If a clown was at your door at 10 p.m., would you open the door? 
Nobody's opening the door for a clown at 10 p.m. Everybody's scared of clowns past sundown, is what I'm saying. The fun and games are over. Why is he still in makeup? Get the kids in the car. Clowns are creepy as hell, man. You never want to see him pass sundown, man. Imagine a clown at your door tonight after this show. That will ruin your whole evening. I'm like, yeah, we had a good time with this shit. Is that the clown on the porch? Walk across the street, act like we don't live here. We're gonna watch him. He's standing at your door like, yeah, yeah. All right, y'all, I'm Tony Baker, man. Thank you. You guys, it's about that time for another episode of Hey, It's Fluffy. So without further ado, here we go. Hey, It's Fluffy on Stand Up Revolution. <laughs> Taco eating punk. Get your tacos and burritos with the taste of the Philippines. You hungry, Fluffy? Hell yeah. Ten tacos. This street meat is dog, man. It's cannibalism straight up. Not for you, but it is for me. Relax. It's not dog meat. That's the Koreans and the Thais and the Chinese and the Cambodians. They eat everything, not the Filipinos. Sometimes maybe, but not me. Well, free Loopy up in this mug. Has anyone seen Dino? My gourmet taco business. Dino, where are you? You know what, man? You didn't believe me about the dog meat, so I'm gonna prove it to your ass. Martin, we need to save Dino. Jump! No, too high. What? I thought you were cool. It's just an act, bro. No way. Ah! You crashed my truck! You're gonna go to prison! <laughs> Man, the only one going to prison is your ass, Batangas, because I crashed this truck into the headquarters of crime investigation. Don't division player, and they're gonna prove your ass is selling dog meat. Hey, don't worry. We're gonna have this figured out in the jiffy, okay? I'll take this DNA sample of this mystery meat and put it inside this amazing machine. Hell yeah. DNA it up, baby. No dog meat. Ha! All right, we got uh, sheep scab, goat eyelid, cow anus, but uh, no dog meat. But Tangus, we won't complain about the cow anus, and you don't complain about the busted truck. Okay, just don't go around saying I ate dog meat. Fine. There you go, Dino. Hope you learned a valuable lesson about stereotypes. Whatever. Next Thursday. Welcome back to Stand Up Revolution! Gabriel's Revolution continues. You ever take a picture of your junk with your cell phone and send it to your lady? Everybody does it. I do it, but I'm classy. I put a sunset behind it. Gabriel Iglesias presents Stand Up Revolution. New episode next Thursday at 10.